in the span of just a few months, I went from not knowing about Simgot to trying out four of their IEMs, and so far every time they impress me with what they have to offer. This time I'm taking a look at the Simgot EA1000, an IEM that comes in at around $200, and this seems to also be another win from Simgot. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie from SideStyled Audio, your resident VTuber headphone nerd. The Simgot EA1000 are a pair of IEMs that I feel tick a few extra boxes in the overall experience that I think helps them to stand out a little bit among the crowd of IEMs. Not only do they sound quite pleasant in their tuning, but their build and design adds a lot that I think helps give them a more premium experience when using them in hand. Now firstly to cover the sound. The EA1000 is an IEM with a single 10mm dynamic driver and a 6mm passive radiator. A passive radiator is similar to a normal driver, but it lacks a voice coil and it can be tuned to resonate at a desired frequency, and uses the sound pressure from the main driver to help run it. It's often used to help a low-end response in certain loudspeaker setups. In the case of this IM, the passive radiator appears to be attached to the exterior of the shell, aiming towards the inner part of your ear. The IM also comes with three different nozzles that you can swap between to change the tuning. Each one has their own damping filters that helps to change the response a bit. The one that it came with pre-installed is the silver nozzle with a red ring, which is meant to be tuned based on the 2019 Harman target. This is also the nozzle that I came to prefer the most, compared to the other nozzles that were also included. With this nozzle, this is another IM that sounds generally good and safe, and it doesn't have any of the harshness or shadiness that some other Harman tuned IMs might have. I think this is also partially due to it not strictly following the Harman-like bass tuck, as well the treble is a little bit less boosted than some other IMs from Simgot. Balanced sort of experience, but still having a decent amount of bass and just enough treble, which doesn't come across harsh or peaky. Listening to the IM, they also give a decent sense of width and space for an IM. Which is interesting because some other IMs, like the EA200, which graph very similar to this, but that one still sounds a lot more narrow and closed in compared to this one. This could be due to many different factors. As well, there are also limitations to the 711 coupler that I use, as has been shown by some others where IMs that might graph very similar on a 711 still may end up having differences in the response when graphed on something like a 5128. So in this sort of case, I tend to trust my ears a bit more than just simply comparing on the graph on my 711. The bass also doesn't come across overpowering or bloated, but still has a sense of tactility and punch to it when the music demands it. Overall, this is a very well-tuned IM, that I feel gives a very good listening experience. The other included tips change the tuning a little bit, and I've seen different people prefer different ones. The gold tip is tuned to the Simgot Gold target. This reduces the bass and treble a little bit, and also increases the upper mids. I found I didn't quite like this one as much, but from reading, some others did like this one more. It also seems to slightly enhance some of the sense of width and space, but I prefer the tuning of the Harman tips overall. The other tips included were the silver tips with the black rings, which are tuned to the Simgot Classic target. These ones are somewhere in the middle between the other two when it comes to bass, but it has more of a treble boost. I found this one added a little bit too much sibilance for my liking, not too much where it's bothersome, but when I have options between the other tips, I still chose not to use this one as much. The other thing that makes the EA1000 stand out is just how they feel and look. I know some of us say that we only care about the sound, but I do think that the look and feel of an IEM or headphone does affect our enjoyment and even our perception of how a product may sound. The EA1000 has a polished metal shell and a white face place with some copper and gold accents. The included cable also has a thick and premium sort of feel to it. They are a little bit on the heavy side, but still balance the weight well when they're worn in your ears. I think this lends itself well to an overall just enjoyable experience. This is one of those IMs I would say is more on the audiophile side. Now what do I mean by that? I mean, IMs are an audiophile thing, right? Well, we gotta remember that in the grand scale of things, IMs are often used as a tool, as in-ear monitors for professional use or music gigs or things like that. And that case, you usually want something that's light and durable and sounds good enough for what you want it for. The EA1000 is a little bit more leaning towards the luxury audiophile sort of side, where it seems its main focuses are on the user experience and the tuning. Having a polished finish and then also the shorter cable, I think this is more suited to just personal listening. Although you could always swap out the cable and you could use it for whatever you want. It's good enough for anything like that. But I think this does lend itself more to just a good listening music enjoyment IEM. The one thing that I do wish was a little bit better was the case. Uh, we have a square case that's held closed by a magnet and while it is fine and good enough, it does feel a little bit cheap, and I'm not confident that they would hold and secure the IM if it was, say, dropped. I think the case that came with something like the Simgot EM6L was more along the lines of what I would prefer, with a bit more of like a hard case that is secured by a zipper. But this is just one of those things that you can kind of nitpick, and it's not a huge deal, and you could always just swap out the case if you wanted to. That said, I'm once again very happy with these IMs from Simgot, and, and I look forward to seeing what they come out with next. Thanks again for watching, and hope to see you next time.